rosy friends, it's Julie, and today I am finally reviewing the Ruby Lux LED Light Therapy Mask that I have been promising to review for some time now, and then life got in the way, and excuses, 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 it's finally here! <laughs> So I'm not going to go into the in-depth into the benefits or how to use and that kind of thing. I've already gone into that a couple of times in different videos. Um, I did an unboxing video, I did a first impression video when I first used it, I even did an update kind of part way through. So I don't want to just be repeating myself and repeating myself for anybody who has been watching all the videos because I don't want to annoy you. <laughs> but um, if you do want to see all of the things that I've said about that, um, I will put a link on the screen so that you can go check those out either before or after watching the rest of this one. But um, yep, so this is the Ruby Lux LED Light Therapy Mask. I used it for the purposes of treating my rosacea symptoms. I've been using LED light therapy for some time now through various products from this brand and from another brand and I have been wanting to try a mask for a very long time. I was so glad when this one came out. Um, the one, the reason that this one stood out was that it plugs in and it has a number of other features that, again, that I discussed in other videos that really, really, really appealed to me. I'm sorry, I, I can't help holding it by sticking my fingers in things. That looks so, I, I keep glancing at myself on my own screen and it looks really gross if I'm... <laughs> sorry about that. Overall, I really like this product. I was very surprised by it. I started off using it a little bit wrong, like I had the strap in the wrong place on my head, so it kept kind of sliding down a little bit. Um, after a few uses, probably two, three uses, I really got the hang of how comfortable it was. I love that I can wear it, it holds itself on, and I can do things like watching YouTube videos and things like that. It makes the time go by really quickly. Very, very convenient, very comfortable. The cord is not very long, but because you're supposed to plug it into a surge protector or that kind of thing anyway, I plugged it into a power bar, which gave me a whole pile of extra length from the wall. And since I was just sitting here watching videos anyway, that really didn't bug me too much. Um, the power cord was actually such an important feature for me because I've seen a lot of the other masks at the drugstore, there's one, but you have to keep purchasing the power packs for it. You can't just recharge them. You have to keep buying them over and over. And I don't like that environmentally. I don't like that it's an ongoing expense. I like that I could buy this and use this and keep using this. It worked great for me. I didn't have any sort of quirky malfunctions or weirdness or any of that kind of thing. I have the 110 volt version because I live in Canada. The same version is also available in the United States, but the Ruby Lux website also sells other versions of it for other parts of the world. So there's a 220 volt version and a 240 volt version for the UK and Europe and Australia. The purchasing price is $99.99 US no matter where you live in the world, no matter which version you get. Um, I had to pay shipping because I live in Canada. I'm, I can't remember whether or not they're shipping if you're in the United States, but even in Canada it was really affordable, so not bad. There is a 60-day risk-free satisfaction guarantee. Uh, mine has definitely gone by by now, but um, I didn't need to use it. That said, they have very, very good customer service, so even if during or after that time you have any questions about how to use it and that kind of thing, then there's somebody there. Um, I always use email. I forgot to even check if there's a phone number, but um, there's they respond really quickly during business hours. Um, super friendly. There are people who ver know their product very, very well. In terms of how I used this, I really wish that my test had been a little bit more scientific. Um, but I was starting to really feel the pressure because I had waited so long to get this video out. So I did switch things along the way with how I used it. I didn't use it. I used it consistently as in I used it regularly, but I did change things up quite a bit. You're supposed to start off with a very short period of time and build your way up as you find out what your skin reaction and tolerance is and things like that. I definitely did that according to the instructions. That said, where I found that I deviated and made it a little less scientific is that I started off with just red intending to do red for three months on its own and then to test out combinations with other colors because I had been using red and amber super, super successfully with another product. So I started to think about it as I was just using red light. I was thinking, well, I'm not comparing this to what I'd done before. I know that red and amber works for me, so shouldn't I be combining red and amber? So then I started adding amber to my use of this. And I found that red and amber on this didn't work the same way as red and amber on 
another product that I had been using, so uh, which I really liked. So I tried kind of tinkering with, because you can adjust a whole pile of things with this. You can adjust the length of time of your session. You can adjust the intensity of the light. You can turn that up and down. I tried tinkering with that, and while the amber, there was definitely kind of a difference. It wasn't the difference I was looking for. So um, actually one of you rosy friends pointed out why that might be the case on my video called Ruby Lux LED Light Therapy Mask First Impression for Rosacea Treatment. There was a rosy friend named Stikowski. I hope I'm saying that the way that I'm supposed to. And you pointed out that um, a lot of LED masks like this, they don't actually have true amber because there would need to be different because there are all these little uh, lights in here and they would need to actually add something different and that they actually mimic the color by combining their other wavelengths that the human eye thinks looks like yellow or amber but that isn't actually what that is. I, I don't know if I explained that properly honestly. He, um, he explained it very, very well. If you want to visit that video and read the comments, um, he explained it very, very intelligently. That's how I understood it. Um, I had already been using Amber at that point, so um, that kind of opened my eyes to maybe that could be the case as well, especially because going to the Ruby Lux website, Amber is the color that doesn't have its actual wavelengths like in nanometers next to its description on the, on the, the product description. So. Um, that could very well be the case. So after deciding that Amber wasn't doing it the way that I was kind of hoping it would, and after reading that comment, which meant a lot to me, and thank you very much for that if you're watching, I swapped out the Amber and brought in green because green is supposed to be cooling and on the website for this product, it actually pointed out that it was the anti-redness color. That was sort of the one that they, they said would be the most helpful if you're fighting redness. So I swapped that out and that's where I actually found that it was kind of the sweet spot for me. So the treatment that I found was the most ideal was the five minute sessions. Um, I did five minutes on red and it was at the midway point. It was at the number three intensity out of five. And then I followed that up with green for five minutes at the halfway point intensity, which was three minutes. So overall it was 10 minutes. That meant about two YouTube videos uh, if I watch a short one or one YouTube video if I watch a long one. Really, really convenient, especially once I started learning how to wear this properly with the strap higher up on my head here so that it's counteracting gravity as opposed to like low down here where I would wear something like if I was wearing a visor hat or something like that. I'm really pleased with the results. Oddly, I found that the red-green combination felt very, very, very similar to the red-amber combination I'd previously been using in the other product and I like that a lot. So I enjoy the fact that I can get the same results that I had been experiencing with this one instead of the other one. Um, I still love that other product, by the way. I am not bashing that at all. Um, it And you can use that one on areas other than the immediate face, neck, all that, that kind of stuff. In terms of side effects, I didn't experience anything that I wouldn't have experienced with other forms of light therapy that I've tried. That is, I didn't experience any with green that I could detect. Red often makes my face a little bit redder after I use it immediately. It fades out normally within 15 minutes to a half hour. Uh, I've stopped even paying any attention to that because I do my light therapy almost immediately before going to bed. I do, you know, I wash my face, light therapy, shower, uh, moisturize, all that stuff, go to bed. So basically, I don't even notice that it makes my face red anymore because at that point it's gonna get red if I shower and I'm, then I'm going to bed. So I don't really pay attention to that. But um, red light, can sometimes make my face a little bit redder for a short time afterwards. Um, I have talked to people who have found that using red light therapy on their rosacea does cause a little bit of redness that lasts longer. I don't know what intensity um, or how long that was used for the lower intensity and short time that I'm using this one. It's really not anything I would complain about at all, especially considering the benefits that I'm getting. In terms of the benefits that I feel that I received from using this, very similar, as I said, to some of the other successful light therapies that I've used. Um, redness stayed controlled, uh, the bumps 
stayed controlled. I get those little pimply things that aren't acne. But I also find that the main benefit is that I don't feel the burning as much or itching or that really tight, weird dryness that comes with rosacea, at least for me. Those stay much more comfortable and it has been a cold winter and it was freezing here during January and February. So the difference that this made was substantial. Uh, I could definitely notice it because I should have had a lot of skin problems over the winter. Keeping in mind that I don't just use light therapy, I also watch my diet, I have trigger avoidance, I use really careful good skincare, I love my skincare routine. That will be changing very soon and I'm testing some things so please expect videos upcoming as I talk about the new products that I've been trying out because the brand that made most of my favorite products did shut down. <laughs> In terms of what I think of this, I really like it. I'm going to continue using it. I feel that it's making a significant difference. I'm looking forward to seeing the difference that it makes as I transition from one skincare product to another and as I move from winter to spring because seasonal transitions are always rough on me, but so are skincare transitions, especially as I'm testing things out for the first time because I've got to replace pretty much everything that I'm using on my face except for one product. So <laughs> that's gonna be a little bit challenging. I'm looking forward to uh, blogging about it, uh, making more videos about it, going through all this. That's what this channel is about anyway. So it does give me a new opportunity to discover new things, to share it with you, and to hear what you think as well. So I hope this review was interesting to you. I hope it was informative. I hope it helped you in some way, or at least entertained you. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up and that way I'll know and this will be the kind of video that I'll continue to make. And if you wanna see more videos like this one and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I hope you will and click the little bell icon if you wanna be alerted every time I upload a new video. And other than that, I'll see you next time.